Hello, everybody. During the year uh, in US history, you are going to be given key terms or key figures or key events. Uh, and it will be your responsibility to not only know what these terms mean, but how they fit into our study of US history. So you will be asked to know the definition of a term and also the significance of a term. At the beginning of the year, it's a little tricky to sometimes know the difference between the two. And so today, I want to just give you some examples to help you out and be as successful as possible when it comes to looking at your terms. So right out of the gate, um, when you're looking at the definition of a word, you're looking at its meaning. Um, this is when you go into the dictionary or you go into a glossary, you're going to see its meaning. Now, when you're asked to know the significance of a word, you're looking at why is this word important? How does it fit into a larger story? So the first example I'm going to give you is very, very simple. Let's say that our unit of study that we're going to be looking at is a hamburger. So definition of a hamburger, a round patty of ground beef grilled and typically served on a bun and garnished with various condiments, right? Like I said, very easy. So if hamburger was our unit, uh, maybe the terms that we would give you is uh, or are a bun, lettuce, ketchup. Like I said, simple. So for a bun, the definition, very simple, it's bread. But in the relation to a hamburger, why is that bread or why is that bun significant? Well, it gives the hamburger structure. It's a way to hold you, the burger. It's a way to stay neat and not be messy and have the burger spilling all over you or getting your hands all greasy. Uh, the next thing we look at is lettuce. The next term, definition, basic. It is an edible leafy vegetable. Now, in relation to the hamburger, why it would be significant is it gives your burger some texture. It gives it some crunch. Um, it's, uh, lettuce is also packed with vitamin C, so it can give you that dose of vitamin C that you need. Um, and then our last term, ketchup. Basic definition, it is a tomato-based condiment. It adds flavor. That would be the significance that we are adding flavor to our burger. So this is how you would break something down. Definition, simple, it's what it is, significance, how is it important to the bigger picture. So let's take a look at a history term. So George Washington, first president of the United States. If George Washington was our topic, then maybe one of his, our terms would be his farewell address. Now in eighth grade US history, you studied George Washington, you studied his farewell address. So you should be familiar, or let's kind of jog your brain here. Uh, but the definition, basic, of Washington's farewell address, it's the final speech of George Washington's presidency. So that is a very, very simple definition. But why is his farewell address significant? What does he tell us? What does he do in that, signif uh, in that farewell address? Well, one, he advises against using uh, or us having political parties. He said that it's going to divide our country. Uh, he encouraged the United States to remain neutral in foreign affairs. And lastly, he sets the precedent for a president to step down from office after two terms. So, and I even give you a little footnote of what, a, what precedent means, um, if you didn't happen to know. But the reason we look at a definition and the reason we look at its significance, and think of it in these terms, if I were to test you on George Washington, what is the likelihood of me saying, who was the first president of the United States? Probably not, that question's probably not going to be there. Um, because that's something that we can look up really, really quickly, or a lot of people already know that. I'm probably not going to ask you, what was the name of George Washington's final speech? Well, it's his farewell address. The questions that I'm going to be asking you about George Washington are going to be coming out of that significance. All right, I would ask, um, what did he uh, advise us on? What did he recommend in his uh, farewell address? Why did he say we shouldn't have political parties? Why should we remain neutral? And even, like, what precedents did he set up? So that's what we're really looking at when we're looking at a definition versus significance. Definition, the meaning, significance is the importance. Now, throughout the year, if ever I'm saying, hey, you're giving me great definition, I need more significance, or your significance just sounds like a definition, 
you can refer back to this video uh, to help you out and try and get better at, uh, at looking up these terms. When you can master this, uh, you're gonna do a great job of seeing how these terms and how these key figures and these events fit into our study of US history. So I hope this helps and good luck.